Y'all big up my YouTube family. Shout out for looking at y'all back out here with us again. We in New Orleans. My son Gregory Stewart, crazy ups game. And him and his old 39 Gang Street boys, them boys was just going ham out there. So I definitely had to cover this one and give y'all some of this funk. You know what I mean? Stay tuned, man. Ride with me on this one, man, because it gets super crazy. Two years ago, the Desire housing development was considered one of the deadliest communities in the country. What you see around here now is a sharp contrast of two years ago. Children did not come out to play. Lawmen say drug dealers were on every corner. But not anymore, they say, because of community policing. There's been a tremendous difference, not only in Desire, but in Florida and B.W. Cooper also. You all right, damn. Lieutenant Edwin right. Compass heads up the community policing for Desire, Florida, and B.W. Cooper. Because of the new program, murders have dropped 74% just in the past year. The murder rate began to quickly rise in the Desire and Florida housing projects, including the surrounding neighborhoods, the same neighborhoods that Gregory Rabbit Stewart confessed to committing his first murder, along with a host of other murders, including the murder of Quelton Gutter Broussard. Local news reported his murder but didn't have any idea of what actually happened that day. Another violent day in New Orleans today. Seven people shot and two dead in just 90 minutes. WDSU News reporter Heath Allen is on your side live now in the ninth ward. So Heath, again, a very active scene out there. How did this all kind of play out? How did it all start? Well, it all started earlier this afternoon, really around midday today at the intersection of North Dupree, St. Anne. Three people shot. Thankfully, none of those injuries were life-threatening. And then the next shooting at about 1.20 this afternoon right here at the intersection of Desire and law. A hail of gunfire broke out. Sadly, two people wound up being killed at this location. A third person is in the hospital at this point, clinging to life. And then right around the corner from here, really a stone's throw away in the 2800 block of Cluett Street at Cluett and Industry, yet another shooting. A lot of gun casings on the ground. One person gravely injured. That person is also in the hospital. They don't know whether these two shootings, because they are so close together, may be related. Police are investigating that as we speak. Rabbit said that himself, Merle and Breezy fired off at least 48 rounds at a Chevy Impala in retaliation for a drive-by attack near the wing shack on Desire Street, in which an associate, Terrence Cheddar Black Butler, was killed over the phone. Stewart also admitted his role in the October 2010 killing of Elton Bow Fields in the 7th Ward. Elton was assumed to be one of the shooters in the drive-by, and was eventually gunned down by Rabbit and his close friend Terrius T. Red Oni, according to his testimony. The two men who allegedly set him up in the business and supplied him with heroin to sell met different fates. Franklin pleaded guilty in 2013 to firearms and heroin conspiracies and Broussard's murder. Merle would never face charges. He was gunned down in July 2013 outside a bar across from the Orleans Parish Criminal District Courthouse. His killing remains an open case. The most famous of the killings that Rabbit admitted to was the December 20, 2010 gun attack that left acclaimed bounce rapper, Renetta. Magnolia Shorty Lowe and Jerome Hampton dead in a hailstorm of more than 50 bullets as they sat in a car in New Orleans East. Stewart's murder spree ended with his arrest in June 2011 at a motel south of Atlanta on federal heroin distribution charges. He was 19 at the time of his arrest. By then, federal agents had been monitoring him and other alleged members of G-Strip, a Ninth Ward drug gang, for several months in an expanding array of wiretaps. Gregory was subsequently convicted and sentenced to four life sentences. That sentence was later reduced to two life sentences, then later reduced to 35 years with a chance to keep having his sentence reduced with further cooperation with the federal government. At this time no public record of Gregory can be found of him still being in federal custody, though he is still assumed to be in prison.
niggas ain't learning the game right. Shoot a bunch of shots, can't aim right. I play a bunch of blocks, nigga, day and night. And I check niggas who ain't rapping right. Hey, oh, chicka, three times is trade way when I wreck mine. No max source, gonna catch a bitch. Cause that shit was made for the swine. How you got catch up, try and catch a bitch? Who gave him all of that time? No, how you got catch up, try and catch a bitch? Mac gave him all of that time. Rap, bang! Free the loach, man. All the homies that's down. Oh, chicka, homies. Hey, Trey, homies. Niggas hold y'all head, man. Stand up. Now it's ketchup. Yeah, y'all, y'all can see that's a crazy story, man. Like I said, little boy, bro, Rabbit, man, caught like 13 bodies. Magnolia Shorty was just an innocent bystander because they was going for the dude, man. And that's how she got caught up in that. And you know what I mean? It was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can hear him testimony. If you want to hear more of his testimony, you know what I mean? Give thanks to Court TV. They got all that up there. You know what I mean? But 39th Street, man, them boys was crazy, man. I mean, even after Slugger opened fire and showed that whole situation with Cheddar Black and all them, they ran down, jumped in, in, in Merle Carr, ran down and chased them boys down and blew it back on them. You know what I'm saying? So you got to respect that, bro. The ups game is crazy. So I'm like, if you want to know more about the details about who shot who in them cases and all that, bro, definitely go look at Court TV. They got all that funk over there. It gets funky, man. They talk about every murder. How they was out there with the big um two two threes and an AK monkey nuts because it got a hundred round drum. You know what I mean? The, the, the you know they got the two nuts and the dick that you jam in the motherfucking joint. Crazy, bro. These, these these dudes was on some other type of time, man. You know what I mean? Little bro, um, what's the name? Gregory and shit, man. He he started selling drugs at eleven years old. Around fourteen, he started fucking with the heroin on galley and air hop. You know what I mean? In the ninth ward. And from then it's been history, bruh. Like, you know what I'm saying? Them dudes is on a murder spree, man, in a whole year span, man. Like, killing everything, moving. Anybody that had beef with. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a, 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 um, another joint on the ride or die on um, gangs that they had dramas with. And how Duke was telling people, telling the court, in the, in the court that how he just laid there and played dead. You know what I mean? After they got hit with them things, man. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I thank y'all for tuning in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to leave a couple links so y'all can go look. You know what I mean? And um, if you want to go to the link for Court TV and hear him speak about all the other bodies and the murders that he caught, I'm going to leave that in the link for you. And, um, yeah, man, thanks for looking out, man. You know what I'm saying? Hope the streets are safer nowadays. You know what I mean? Because you can't live like that, man. That ass, man. Even though that shit crazy, the sign exciting. Still fucking our whole damn fuck culture up, man. So we can't be out there like that, man. You know what I mean? But yeah, thank you for tuning in. Hit the like and subscribe button. You are ready. We gonna keep coming with this funk. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who wanna who wanna look out, and donate. You know what I mean? I'm gonna throw my cash up up there. I can throw some little. Mm. Don't hold it in, don't hold it in Cause that type of hate only kill you, friend You mention this, then we gon' kill you then Double back twice, you kill a friend Niggas ain't learning the game right Shoot a bunch of shots, can't aim right I play a bunch of blocks, nigga, day and night And I check niggas when you